Today, I want to talk about credit ratings and how some companies game the system. But before we go on, I want to remind you that under Hong Kong SFC regulations, we're not allowed to make recommendations and none of what follows should be taken as investment advice. However, if you are looking at credit opportunities, we think it would be wise to consider the following. Most of the time, corporate bonds trade broadly in line with their credit rating, providing stable returns but limited opportunity to outperform. The problem comes when troubles arise and the bonds drop sharply, usually far ahead of any downgrade. We think there are two reasons for this. First, the credit agencies are actually paid by the companies they cover to rate them, so they have absolutely no incentive to be early and possibly wrong. Secondly, the metrics used to rate the companies are widely publicised and therefore they're up to being gamed by a creative CFO. Traditional credit scores look at how much debt you've got and whether you can afford it or not. And as such, the tests essentially look at debt to assets and debt to profits. They ignore the fact that the balance sheet is only valid for one day and they do little to check the veracity of the P&L and cash flow statement. This gives the creative CFO plenty of opportunity to window dress the accounts. By inflating assets, cutting liabilities, pulling forward revenues or delaying expenses, he can generate the numbers to generate the metrics that the credit agencies are looking for. Perhaps the best evidence of this is the fact that borderline investment grade companies churn their debt far, far more than any other type of company. We think this is because they are frantically trying to adjust their balance sheet to ensure that it looks its absolute best on reporting dates. At Bucephalus, we've used our creative accounting expertise to build new credit models. Now these are based upon the business realities, practical cash flows and adjusted leverage. This creates a far more comprehensive measure of credit worthiness. We then combine this with our governance, accounting and peer performance models to see who might be fiddling the numbers. This helps us spot those companies whose financials are deteriorating somewhat faster than the agencies realise and conversely provides opportunities to see those companies who are actually doing better than people think. These are just some of the ideas that came out of our work. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. Alternatively, if you want to keep up to date with our work, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for your time.